the iPhone is more better. <laughs> What's up? Another vlog, another shoot. So today I'm with a uh, Miss Greta. Greta, Miss Greta. <laughs> uh, she invited me over to her place to do just a quick photo shoot before she heads out to the United States of the America. Yeah. Um, we already did our first shoot, or I guess our first spot in this house, which was the tiny dining table. We just finished that. I took a couple, probably like 10 plus rolls in each camera. Oh, speaking of camera, I got the Nikon F4 with the 7200 and the F5 with the 24 to 70. So two big heavy film cameras. Um, You've never shot film before. No. Basically, I was telling Greta, like, I'm gonna make sure each shot is worth it, you know, because we only have a limited number of shots per roll. Yeah, we're already in the second location. Location, well, technically, we're just gonna be in the bedroom and then see what we can come up with. Yeah, super yeah. excited to see. This is actually real, because look. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but this is where, like, you plug in, like, the, the landline kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Do you like ever use that at all or no? Yeah, when reality calls and I hang up. <laughs> <laughs> that's dope though. Where'd you get it? Off uh, Oh really? Yeah. yeah I really wanted one of those. It's super nice actually. To create the aesthetic for my room. Chandelier, vintage looking bed, everything. Yeah, even this little mirror like kinda adds like these little kind of pieces that yeah. I get around. And then I have like the little rose. Wait, isn't that the rose from like Snow White or something? From Beauty and the Beast. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, I, have a little... I think you're born in the wrong era. <laughs> I am. There's not much to do when all I can is thinking about you. Not doing well. Don't know where you are. Cause you're not here. It's been way too long. If I could lay down beside you, I would, I would When nothing really matters, that's all I wanna do I hope that you are safe and that I will see you soon If I could lay down beside you, I would, I would So, for basically the second half of this vlog, I wasn't able to show you guys much of it because the off score that connects to the back of my mic, as you guys can see, I, I don't have the off score with me, but basically the off score that connects to the back of this is broken and there was really no sounds coming out of it when I was vlogging. So, pretty much the footage from the second half most of the footage from the second half of the photo shoot are just trash if you guys notice like some of the weird static noises or like this weird like plug in plug out like kind of noise that the the video was making that's basically what it was and basically like towards like the second half or pretty much the second half of the photo shoot that's all the noise that the video was producing so yeah technically just like a like a photo shoot with a clip and I'm like really really bummed out because Greta was a really really cool person to shoot with In fact, there was like some funny footage from that photo shoot But you know, unfortunately the mic was so messed up So now my only solution is to get a new aux cord so that you know, hopefully for the next vlog the sounds are there Anyways, all of the photos were taken on Kodak Gold 200 as you can already tell by the title And they were shot at box speed which is at ISO 200 and yeah, none of them were pushed or pulled or aka underexposed or overexposed. And I really, really, really love the results that came out. All the film negatives were actually scanned by my local camera lab. Um, well, they're actually a camera store, but they do develop and scan films there, which is called Aiden Camera. They are located in downtown Toronto and they use the Noritsu, I think that's how it's called or pronounced. Um, HS 1800 I believe and I did use black pro mist filters for this photo shoot I used both the one half and the one quarter uh, strength mist which is why a lot of the photos they kind of look a little pastel or dreamy or creamy something like that so for the last set of shots where we use the plain white wall as sort of like a makeshift studio i did use the godox sl 60w studio light which is a decent light i know it's cheap i know it only has like 60 watts of power i know it's not like aperture pro photo 
or Ari or any of those $1,000 fancy expensive studio lights out there. But it does the job and that's all I need. I also did use Greta's um, ring light that she uses for her makeup to sort of like fill in the shadowy part of her just so that, you know, the photos don't look weird with only like one light source. I mean, you can still get creative with one light source, but for me personally, I just needed not like too strong of a light, but like some sort of light to just fill in the shadow a little bit. Anyways, I was hoping for this vlog to be a lot longer, but you know, unfortunately with a broken mic, it was short lived. But uh, as long as you guys enjoyed, you know, the content I have for you, I mean, that's all that matters. And uh, I hope you guys like my photos. And if you do like it, please leave this video a like, drop a comment if you haven't already. I mean, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, but yeah, drop a comment and um, I'm going to link down Greta's Instagram link down below if you guys want to give her a follow. And uh, yeah, see you later. Peace.